If you forgot the passcode on your iPod Touch, you might want to try out all the possibilities to unlock it without losing any data. Well, that's indeed the proper way to go, but some users don't have such good luck and exhausted all the chances of passcode unlocking. Then it came to this. It says iPod is disabled. Connect to iTunes. No worries. In this video, I'll show you three simple ways to unlock it. Let's get started. If you don't have a computer handy, here is how to unlock it using the Find My app on your iPhone or iPad. This works when you have Find My iPod Touch enabled previously and remember the Apple account details. So on your iPhone, go to Settings, make sure to sign in the same Apple ID and enable Find My. Then open the Find My app, tap Devices, swipe up, then tap your iPod. Now you should see the Erase This Device option in the bottom. Go ahead and tap on it. Then enter your Apple ID and password to continue. See, your iPod is in the erase process now. You can also remove this device from the account like this, so you don't have to enter the credentials later when setting it up. This will bring you to the Hello screen, then you can proceed to the Home screen. If Find My iPod is not enabled, here is how to unlock it using iTunes. So once open it, plug your iPod into the computer, then put it into recovery mode. For iPod Touch, is press and hold both the top and home buttons simultaneously till you see the connect to computer icon. Then iTunes should recognize it and suggest an update or restore. Let's go with the restore. Then hit restore and update to confirm. It'll be downloading the firmware first. Then your iPod will go through the restore process. If iTunes is giving you errors, Foro Key will make a nice alternative. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to download. So once launch it, make sure your iPod is connected and in recovery mode. Then go to the Unlock Lock Screen Passcode field. Click Start to proceed. Download the firmware. Then here we go. Well done. Now it says the passcode removed successfully. Let's go ahead and set it up. You can set your own passcode now or leave it there till you get the home screen. So there it is. Finally, we did it. Now you can sync music from iTunes library and start over. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.